the rain and the wind is coming down. So if you hear sounds in the background, uh, yeah, that's a storm. Rafi's Rants! Hola, you amazing rogues. I'm not sure if this video is going to go on the main YouTube channel or if this is just for the patrons. I think it all depends in uh, post, in editing. I had a thought this morning where I was thinking about um, sustainability as far as like becoming an artist. Yesterday I was part of one of our patrons live streams and you know she's taking the plunge into becoming a full-time artist. It got me thinking about some of the comments and questions that I've gotten over the years on YouTube. I, especially from artists that maybe have been doing it for a long time and things haven't been panning out for them and uh, it, you could hear the frustration in their words because here I am and I'm talking about put your stuff out there and uh, get in front of other people and then persist through the suck and I could understand that like persisting through the suck for like 20 years could could get really demoralizing first thing this morning I got up and I was thinking about this uh, because I think I was thinking about it last night so I might have wrinkle marks on my face from my pillow and I haven't had coffee yet so this might be a weird ramble when it comes to my perspective on how I handle my art career a lot of that perspective comes from the fact that I spent a lot of time, the majority of my life, uh, really, really discouraged and talking myself out of uh, certain things, certain things that were outside of my comfort zone or taking a look at things uh, that maybe were not panning out. I try to jump into my full-on art career and then get into it and then get really discouraged after about three months because nothing was working out or even six months because nothing was working out. From that perspective, from where I was, I can't imagine trying to do this for 20 years and it not working out. Bear with me because this is from a plethora of places. Just the thoughts here, uh, watching the live stream where she was talking about pivoting. There was a comment on YouTube that we got from one of you beautiful people that was talking about, I believe that as an artist, first and foremost, you should be able to sustain yourself as an artist. Basically that there should be security in your art career. And I get that. A lot of the frustration behind a lot of the comments and a lot of the stuff that um, is really, really a roadblock when you're getting started is money. A lot of people are very, very focused on money. And I get that because it's not like I don't think about money and I'm like, oh, it's fine. I'm just going to willy nilly create stuff and I don't have to worry about money. Of course, uh, I need money to be able to survive. We, you know, we need to pay our bills. And I guess the main thing that I try to say in the videos is that when it comes to sustainability, of your art career. One of the reasons that I always am more focused on the creative process and whether or not I am enjoying myself in doing what I do is because I know that I'm going to keep moving forward with it even through the points where it is not working out. And because of that, in order for it to become sustainable, because I know that there, it's going to take a while until it gets to a point where it makes money. No matter what project or what thing it is that I'm working on, I have to make sure that I enjoy it because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am not going to make that much money with that project in the very beginning. And that some things actually take a year or two years or even three years before it really starts to pick up. Now, the difference is that I try everything, everything that I'm interested in, I do try it. And then I stop and reevaluate and take a look. And I know that I'm going to stick with it if it is something that I really, truly enjoy doing. I also know that as I'm going, if things are not working out with it, if I need to tweak, if I need to move a little bit in this direction or move a little bit in that direction or get it out in front of these people, or if I have a project that I'm working on that I feel very passionate about and it's not getting out in front of people, then I got to stop and look at myself and say, okay, what is it that I'm doing here? Am I uh, creating this and using this method to get it out there? Or do I need to change direction? Do I need to be flexible? Do I need to go back to the drawing board 
and take a look at my insecurities and decide what is it that I'm going to do in order to get this thing out in front of people? What am I going to do in order to change this? What is it that I'm going to do in order to make this profitable at some point? I give myself that flexibility and that time to be able to stick with something and tweak it and tweak it and tweak it and tweak it until it gets to a place where I know that this is now maybe a little bit more sustainable financially than it was. But in order to get to that place, it needs to be sustainable to you. It needs to be something that you feel passionate about, something that you're excited about, something that's going to get you through the suck. Because if money is what you're using as a motivator and money is not there... Money is not going to motivate you. It's going to demotivate you. When I'm looking at these different questions and comments and things like that, I, I, I could sense, I could feel the, the frustration of wanting to have something where there is complete and utter security. Listen, uh, there's going to be ups and downs with, with your art career. You are running your own business. Talk to anyone who runs their own business and they are very much aware that at any point in time, the shit could hit the fan. With this pandemic, no one was expecting this stuff. Some artists, uh, they were signed up for a bunch of art shows and they didn't get the art shows. Like, it is being prepared for those moments and deciding whether or not you are going to be flexible enough to change direction or to do something different. With a lot of outdoor art shows... Us depending on that in order to put ourselves out there. I can't even tell you how many times a show got rained out or canceled or, or something happened that caused the show to not be as popular as it was supposed to be. There are so many weird rules out there about what it means to be an artist or what it means to uh, be taken seriously in the art world. And I see a lot of people go in a direction that they think that this is what you're supposed to do. And when things don't work out, they just stick to it. They keep doing the same thing and expecting different results. And a lot of the people that have contacted me that have been doing it for 20 years and you could hear that that discouragement in their voice, it really saddens me because at that point they're blaming other people or they're blaming the circumstances or they're blaming the situation or they're blaming their art or whatever it is they're blaming. They're blaming things that are outside of their control in order to justify why it is that they haven't moved, been able to move forward instead of stopping for a moment and taking a look inside and saying, am I basically doing insanity here? Am I just uh, doing the same thing over and over and over and over and expecting different results? Is that what I'm doing? Or am I taking a look at what it is? Where are my comfort zones? A a am I actually pushing outside of my comfort zones? Am I willing to tweak things? Am I willing to change direction? Am I willing to introduce something new out there? Am I willing to push through the suck in a way where I am being innovative and, and e experimenting and playing around and, and reaching for new things and really taking a look and seeing what is it that I want. One person that I know got started with their art career five years ago and basically put a website up and keeps adding to their website but doesn't do any social media. Basically, you have to, you would have to really scour the internet and somehow happen upon their website in order to be able to see their very, very beautiful art. But because they're not actually putting themselves out there, we, when we put ourselves out there, we started doing shows and we gave cards to everyone. Everyone that we saw on the street, we gave them a card and there was our website so that we would have people going back to the website. When it came to social media, we talk about our own lives, but everything leads back to the website. If we are going to expand ourselves out in internet land, we have to take a look at whether or not we are getting the exposure that we need. You can't just put a website up and expect a bunch of people to just go to a place where they don't know that it exists. When I talked to that person, they said, well, you know, I'm just not a people person. It makes me nervous putting my stuff on social media. But then the frustration that came with the fact that nobody was visiting their website, I was like, yeah, but you got to understand it is your actions that are causing 
this to happen. And if you stop and you reevaluate and you take a look at this ridiculous fear that you have that is holding you back from being able to put yourself out there, from being able, like, the, there are more steps to this. It's not just put a website up and then expect uh, people to fall on it by accident. Taking a look inside of yourself and saying, where do I need to change direction? Let me tweak as I go. And so that's where that sustainability of that passion for that project really works for you because then you're able to stick to it and you're able to, you know, essentially do like focus group. It's a passion project, but that's where you get to identify like, what is working with this as far as putting myself out there? What is it that, uh, that maybe I should tweak? What fears do I have? What is it that I could really like jump into and really try for the first time and see if it works? And basically it's like a bunch of social experiments. You are tweaking and, and changing direction and tweaking as you go. And then it just keeps getting better and better better and better and better. But if you are just doing the same thing or you are not pushing outside of comfort zones and most importantly, or you're getting discouraged, you're allowing yourself to get discouraged because you have um, all these ideas of what it means to become an artist and you're holding yourself up to these ridiculous standards out there. If you're down on yourself and your abilities and you think that you're no good at this or you know, one of the comments that I heard last night was like, you know, well, my art is okay. I look at my art and I'm like, well, my art is definitely not the best that it's going to be because I haven't created my the best yet. But then I stop and I question, well, what does that even mean? What does it mean that I didn't create the best yet? This is obviously the best that I have. So essentially, all the art that I create is my best. And if I'm going to sit there and compare myself to other artists who I think their artwork is beautiful and amazing and think that my artwork d doesn't match up to them, th that's totally my opinion. And so, like, I'm telling myself, well, my stuff is not that good. My stuff is not that great. It's only this. And it's so based on, like, this whole concept that there is out there of this is good, this is bad, this is good, this is bad, and this is what you should do, and this is what you shouldn't do, and this is what you should do. And, and if you uh, run a successful career, this is how it should go. And in my mind, I'm like, it, it doesn't freaking matter what anybody else is saying. What really matters is what you're telling yourself. So if you're going to sit there and you're going to tell yourself, well, you know, my art kind of sucks, but I still put it out there. Like, how is that motivational for you? How is that something that is going to sustain you through getting through the stuff that you're doing? I don't know. I think I just went off on a tangent, but it's so connected into that thing. Cause like there's going to be so many people out there that are going to discourage you as far as what it is that you are trying to do if you're trying to build an art career and they're going to discourage you. And if you're sitting there and you're discouraging yourself in any way, shape or form, instead of being your biggest cheerleader, how is not being your biggest cheerleader and constantly allowing your mind to be infiltrated by these negative thoughts telling you that you can't do it look at you look at this thing nobody wants to buy your art you're not good at this you're not good at that how is that going to sustain you it is not so my whole thing is anything that you say to yourself whether it is this isn't really that good but i'm blah 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 basically what you're doing is you're saying I'm not really that good, but I'm really going to make a go of it. And I, and I understand where a lot of that comes from because like, listen, I am growing. It, for me, I am an amateur artist. I am an amateur business person because if I considered myself an expert, that would mean that I reached the pinnacle of whatever the hell I'm supposed to reach. And I sure as heck have not because the moment that I am comfortable in one area, I am ready to move on to the next and move on to the next and move on to the next. So I am constantly an amateur. I am constantly a student to this thing. I am constantly trying things that I have no idea what I'm doing because it's exciting for me. I want to experience the most that I can in this very, very short life that I have. And because I'm doing this uh, as an artist, 
Um, I want to try all the things. I want to have harebrained ideas and try them and do these things and, and, and push outside of my comfort zones. And if things are not working out in a specific way, tweak it and play around with an experiment and do social experiments and, and see how it is that people respond and react to this and basically just have fun with what I'm doing as I'm growing and understand that I never get it done. I don't stop growing. I don't reach a pinnacle. And that maybe sometimes the shit is going to hit the fan. And there is a huge difference between understanding that if the shit hits the fan, you know what? I've got this. I could figure it out. It doesn't matter what the circumstances or what things look like around me. I've got this. I'm going to figure it out. I think really that is the biggest difference between me back in the day when I would give up and me now is that... I, I know that it's all just a work in progress. It's all just a work in progress. You know what I mean? If you're working on a painting and something is not working out, you don't just keep doing that same thing and expect it to work out. You know that that's not going to work. You're going to have to sh shift things. You're going to have to be flexible with it. You're going to have to maybe change direction a little bit. And it, it's not different then with your art career, it's the same thing. You got to tweak as you go so that you get to the place that you want to be because you've never been there before. You don't know where you're going. And even if you follow somebody else's path, um, that you're not guaranteed that it's going to lead you exactly where you want to go. You are blazing your own trail and building this path as you go. And sometimes you have to navigate around obstacles and that's okay. And if you are heading in one direction and you realize that you're not going anywhere, don't keep heading in that same direction. Just tweak it. You don't have to, you don't have to get off your own path, but just tweak it and change it. Yeah, that's, I think this turned into a rant and these are just morning thoughts. You guys, uh, this, this is what goes on. Uh, and now you're privy to it. You're welcome. We have a giant tropical storm that may turn into a hurricane that is just looming looming at this point and it's a very slow moving storm so we may be in it for the next few days and uh yeah and at see and at that point i'm going to be tweaking and changing directions i'm a, i can't just go and do the same thing that i always do i got to uh, navigate around certain obstacles, which is fine. In case I do share these rant, rambles, uh, non-directional commentary on YouTube, I will ask, what are your guys' thoughts when it comes to your art career and navigating those waters? There's so many of you that I see you, you're innovative and you're switching things around and you're changing direction and you're like taking the reins on your own art career and then, then I see some people out there that are just, I don't see them taking the reins. I see them just kind of waiting around to get discovered. And it, it just, it drives me nuts because those, the, a lot of those people contact me and they're so frustrated with what's going on with their career. And I'm like, well, yeah, of course, that's frustrating. I'm going to get coffee. That's what I'm going to get. You guys are all awesome. You guys are all awesome. I, that's, 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 if I, if there was something that I could like implant into, it's like, you're awesome. You're awesome. Just keep being awesome. Change direction, shift things up. Anything that makes you feel less awesome is complete and utter bullshit. Um, but you are awesome. So if you're afraid of something, just remember you're awesome. You don't have to give into the, the bull crap. You don't. You don't have to. That's it. I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to drink coffee. I think I'm going to drink coffee now. So, uh, thank you so much for watching you guys. You guys are absolutely freaking amazing. I totally adore you. Uh, and if you like this, this, you can subscribe if you want. And that's it. Adios. Eventually it got to the point where I was like, well, these markets are kind of outside of my control. They're run by other people and stuff. And like, if that's what I'm depending on, um, then it's not really dependable because other people are making choices for me. So then it, it was going off in a completely different direction that was extremely scary for me of 
walking away from something where I knew that financially that was sustainable to a certain extent, but realized that it was an illusion of sustainability. It's great. It was great for getting started and putting myself out there and getting myself out in front of people and working through a lot of the roadblocks, but eventually you evolve and you grow. And if you're not willing to be flexible and change direction, um, you could easily stay stagnant in that level. And so I'm constantly reevaluating which direction I'm heading, whether or not it's with my art career, with my life, with an art project, with anything. 